As we contemplate the sun, we are aware of its enormous power and the energy it emanates throughout our solar system. It is hard to imagine anything capable of surpassing our sun, yet beyond our own star lies a cosmic wonder that makes even the mightiest solar giants seem insignificant in comparison. Betelgeuse, the red supergiant, defies explanation with its enormous diameter, irregular pulsations and unpredictable behavior. The star is an enigma to scientists who are still studying its power and potential. As they investigate this magnificent star in depth, they have discovered something terrifying. Join us on this tour as we dwell into the constellation Orion with the James Webb Telescope and explore how its arrival could change our understanding of Little Rouge and its impact on the cosmos. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Although many people are unaware of this fact, it is possible to spot Peter Rouge in the night sky during the winter months in the northern hemisphere. Just look up at the sky and focus on the constellation Orion and Canis Major to see this dazzling star in all its splendor. There you can easily locate the reddish-orange star that marks the upper left corner of the rectangular shape of the constellation. This star is one of the largest and brightest in the night sky, making it difficult to miss. However, if you have looked closely at this star, you will have noticed that it does not remain constant. In fact, it varies in brightness periodically. This peculiarity is no coincidence, since Vito Rouge, as the star is called, is no ordinary star. Although to us it may appear just to be one more in the vast firmament, it is located at a distance of more than 640 light years from us. At first glance, this figure may not seem impressive, but in reality it represents an enormous distance. To illustrate this magnitude, let's imagine that we could travel at the speed of light, which, unfortunately, is not possible. Even in that hypothetical scenario, it would take us more than 640 years to reach Rouge. If we wanted to undertake such a journey into a spacecraft, even using our most advanced technologies, it would take us more than 12 billion years to reach it. This figure far exceeds the entire history of human civilization on Earth. However, the scarcity of light from Vito Rouge is not only due to the distance that separates us from it. Vito Rouge is what is known as a pulsating red supergiant, which means that it is an ancient massive star that undergoes expansions and contractions. During these cycles, its brightness can vary in the night sky, becoming more intense or dimmer. These brightness changes can occur over extended periods, ranging from tens to hundreds of days. The amazing thing is that Vito Rouge can oscillate in brightness over a wide range. It can range from near magnitude 0.5 to reach zero magnitude, making it extremely bright. These changes follow cycles with the shortest being 185 days and the longest being 2,335 days at times. At certain times, Vito Rouge can become quite faint, which is called V-Vand Magnitude. In February 2021, it was reported to present its lowest V-Vand Magnitude in a long time, reaching a magnitude of plus 1,614. Although it's relatively bright, it is definitely fainter than how we usually observe Vito Rouge. However, brightness is not the only outstanding feature of the star. Vito Rouge is known for its distinctive reddish color, which is due to its cool surface, which has a temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin. This temperature is much lower than the surface of our Sun, which reaches 5,500 Kelvin. This lower temperature means that Vito Rouge emits much less energy per unit area compared to the Sun. That is why, despite being one of the largest stars we know, it appears much dimmer. Vito Rouge is like that giant that is satisfied with a low profile and doesn't need to show off its size to feel important. However, don't be fooled by her appearance. Vito Rouge is a super giant star that is about 20 times the mass of our sun. This is one of the reasons why this star has been the subject of numerous studies. Over the centuries, it has been a prominent object in the night sky and was first identified by the ancient Greek astronomer Ptolemy. His name in Arabic means Orion's armpit. Although not much could be known about Vera Rouge at the time, modern telescopes have enabled researchers to study this phenomenon in greater detail. By analyzing the light emitted by Vera Rouge, astronomers have been able to determine many of its properties, such as its size, temperature, and composition. 
The Hubble Space Telescope, for example, has provided detailed images of Vitor Rouge's surface, revealing intricate patterns of gas and dust. These observations have allowed researchers to create models to understand the star's behavior and predict its future evolution. Vitor Rouge has also been studied using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or acronym ALMA, L -A -M -A, a state-of-the-art observatory located in Chile. ALMA, or ALMA, has provided high-resolution images of the surface of Vitor Rouge, revealing details about its structure and behavior. One of the most remarkable discoveries made by LAMA, or ALMA, is the presence of an extensive plume of gas extending from the surface of the star. This plum is believed to be the cause by pulsations from Vilter Rouge. These pulsations, which can be explained by a process called convection, involve the rising of hot gas and the sinking of cold gas. This motion creates waves that travel through the star's atmosphere, causing it to expand and contract. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, detailed images of Vilter Rouge's surface have also been obtained, revealing intricate patterns of gas and dust. These observations have allowed researchers to create models to understand the star's behavior and predict how it might behave in the future. In addition, Vilter Rouge's surface is marked by dark spots, also known as star spots, or magnetic spots. These areas on the star's surface exhibit particularly strong magnetic intensity. These regions, known as star spots, are areas on the surface of Vitor Rouge that are cooler. This is because the star's magnetic field inhibits the flow of gas from the interior to the surface, creating a cooling effect. As a result, the spots appear darker compared to the rest of the surface. Vitor Rouge's magnetic field is believed to be thousands of times stronger than that of the Sun. This intense magnetic field causes the gas on the surface of the star to be trapped in loops or arcs, describing regions of intense magnetic activity that are visible as star spots. It is important to mention that the presence of star spots is not unique to Vitor Rouge, as they are also observed in other stars, including our own Sun. The star spots in Vitor Rouge are very specially interesting because of their size. They are several times larger than Earth and cover up to 20% of the star's surface, which is significantly larger and more numerous than the sunspots on the Sun. These star spots can affect the overall brightness of the stars and cause variations. As the spots move in and out of view, Vilter Rouge's brightness can fluctuate. This is because the spots, being cooler, emit less light than the surrounding gas, which contributes to changes in the observed brightness of the star. In the case of Vitor Rouge, pulsations of the star also contribute to the brightness variations. As the stars expand and contract, star spots move in and out of view, further amplifying the star's observed brightness. The surprising thing is that Vitor Rouge is not as unique as one might think. While there are not many stars like it, there are some that share certain similarities and are equally fascinating. One of Vilter Rouge's cosmic cousins is Antares, a red supergiant located in the constellation Scorpius. Antares is also a variable star, meaning that it undergoes changes in brightness over time, just like Vilter Rouge. In addition, Antares has a mass approximately 12 times that of the Sun and a radius that is 700 times that of the Sun. So, it's safe to say that Antares is no sludge in terms of size. Now, what do you think? Do you think Vitor Rouge has already exploded and it's just a matter of time before we see it in our skies? Let us know in the comments box. If you liked the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.